hello and today I wanted to talk about something related to sexual health sexual health is not a big deal well it's a huge deal but it's something that should be open to being talked spoken about so today I want to talk about my experience with birth control specifically the birth control that I'm on which is called um, Depo. Depo is a shot that, depending on you, you get... I get every three months, so every six weeks to three months-ish. And I just want to talk about the experience I've had on it, which started off really positive and has sharply spiraled into something so horrifyingly negative. Um, I'll start from the beginning. Um, a few years ago, about three, I decided that I was in, it was in my best interest to start using a birth control. Uh, when I was younger, I had, I tried a lot of different birth controls, the patch, NuvaRing, pills, and when I was younger, I had had the shot once before, but really didn't really remember any of it. I um, only had it once, so I only had it for like six weeks anyway. So as an adult, I wanted to try something that I could really stick to, and the shot really seemed like it was something that best fit me. Um, you go to the doctor, originally when I first started it was every six weeks. Go to the doctor every six weeks and you get the shot either in your arm or your booty. And um, while I was on it they extended the guidelines to three months, so that was it. And at first it was really great, but then after about a year the side effects became like very prevalent in my life and started to affect me socially, emotionally, physically, and um, I'll kind of go over the side effects that are online and then I'll talk more about the side effects that I experienced. So honestly, if you just Google side effects of Depo, Google just puts up the side effects right there for you, which I feel like means people are Googling it all the time. So Depo can cause a number of side effects, including irregular menstrual periods or no periods at all, Holler. headaches, nervousness, depression, dizziness, acne, change in appetite, waking. Um, I can say I have experienced all of these symptoms, but you know, in the first year I really did not. And after the second year, um, I go to Planned Parenthood for all of my, uh, uh, needs. And after the second year, they really recommended to me, um, that I start taking a vitamin because Depo also causes bone loss loss in your bone density. So I also started taking a multivitamin after the second year. That wasn't a red flag to me. I don't know why. So after about the second year, my side effects started to include um, just crying all the time. Um, first it started off really sweet. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen the commercial where it's just like a hand, well it's the perspective of a hand, and it meets a guy on a boat, and then the next scene is like them at a picnic, and then the hand is like aiding in the hospital because the man from the boat, his mother is sick, and then the hand is like being proposed to, and then they turn around, and it's another man, and it's like, change your perspective. And I was a mess. I was like, oh, it was a man and they fell in love. Um, and that seemed, I have tissues. And that seemed normal 
because that's something that would, you know, anyone would get a little, sorry, anyone would shed a little tear for that. But then it became a lot more intense. Um, whenever I was very scared, I started to cry, which has never been something I've ever experienced in my life. Um, up until recently, I started developing fear and you know, I'm scared. I've always been scared of the normal things. Death, robbery, whatever. But now I'm scared of heights, I'm scared of driving, I'm scared of crowds, um, I'm scared of loud noises. Um, we were in the Pine Barrens like two weeks ago. I posted that video. I accidentally got hit by a stick and I lost it. I cried forever. Um, why? Um, so fear became something that um, really escalated. I'm very scared of heights out of nowhere. Never in my life have I been afraid of heights. So you remember one of the symptoms was nervousness? Check. Because I'm fucking scared. Sorry. Um, and another thing, one of my depot triggers, as I call it, is um, elderly people. Uh, out of nowhere, I can't, every time I see an older person, I think about them dying, and it's absolutely insane. Uh, recently I was at the bank, and this is the story I told my physician, because I was like, listen, something's up. So I was at the bank, and the old, there was a man in front of me, he was older, and he cut in the line, and he was like, hey, like, I think I, I left my bus pass up here with when I, you know, deposited my check, whatever. And the lady was like, you didn't. He was like, please, like, it's not in my wallet. Um, can you help me look for it? She's like, you didn't leave it. And I'm just like, how's he gonna get home? He's stuck in the and I lost it. And then it was my turn next in line and I was like, you want to deposit? And um, there was another time at school where uh, the girl next to me had a client who's like kind of older lady and the client was running late and the girl next to me was like, where is she, whatever. And normally it would have been whatever for me too, but I kept thinking like, she's dead. That's why she's not here. She waited all day for her haircut with her little purse on her lap and then died. And I cried all night. Out of nowhere. I like to think that I'm a rational person, but if I see an old lady, I just have to go somewhere else because I cannot deal with their approach on death, approaching death. So crying all the time, I'm scared all the time. Um, so I gained 30 pounds on my depo. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> it really. So I gained 30 pounds since starting the depo. And like, that's cool with me. I don't notice any physical change. Like I really don't notice much. Um, my boobs didn't grow, that's not where the weight is. So don't think, oh, I'm gonna get a depo shot and woo woo. It's not where the weight went. It's all in my butt. That thing is huge and out of control because I don't notice the weight in my face or my arms or like my upper body, it's just all in my butt. Every shirt I've had for the last few years, they all fit, just all my, none of my pants fit at all. And jean shopping is hard enough. And what if the lady in the fitting room is 60 years old? What am I gonna do? So I can't buy jeans. Um, and 30 pounds is kind of a lot because I've been around the same weight my whole life. I was born exactly how I am to, no, like, once I hit like 16, it was about then. So I like to say that that weight is directly from the depot. Um, acne, I had never had a problem with acne before the shot. Now I, uh, I mean, I will say I'm more interested in makeup, but it's definitely not clogging my pores like this. Like these, the acne I have, 
Um, I went to Sephora and they matched me with a product because they said all my acne was hormonal. And yeah, I go to beauty school, but I just needed a second opinion. And they said everything like below here is hormonal acne. And that's all I have. And it's not even like acne that you can like pop. It's just like a feature of my face now. And the list goes on and on. Like, um, I was watching some YouTube videos because I've been trying to find like alternatives to Depo because it's making me crazy. And one of the women said that one of her clients said that one of her symptoms was being crazy. So I'm like, alright. It's a shot, so it physically hurts. It's kind of expensive. My first shot, including, um, you know, the appointment and um, the physical and the pregnancy test, cost like around $300. Um, and my second shot, your first three shots, you need to get a pregnancy test. So the second shot was around like 286, including the shot and the pregnancy test and like the doctor visit. Um, and then after like the fourth or fifth, they drop down to like 200. Um, I don't have health insurance, so it's probably different for everybody, but it became kind of expensive and I didn't want to ask my partner to pitch in because I was like, I'm independent on my sexual health. But um, at the end of the year, like, it's a lot of depo shots. And um, so they can put it in your arm or your butt cheek and they alternate. So the first shot goes in your right arm, the second shot goes in your left arm, left butt cheek, right butt cheek, right arm. And I recently had my shot for the summer and when it was put in my right arm, I couldn't go to school. I couldn't hold a pair of scissors. It just like wiped the capability of my arm for like 24 hours. Even the following day, I was trying to hold a coffee cup like <laughs> So that's my experience on the depo shot. It's killing me. I'm a different person now. Um, so I've looked into, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is really happening. Um, so I looked into other birth control methods and I really found a lot of interest in Lady Comp, which is a small little device um, a little bigger than like a Tamagotchi, but like of the same kind of like clicking through a screen kind of thing. And attached is a thermometer. And every morning you take your temperature before you've moved or done anything. You just wake up, take the temperature, take it out, go back to sleep. And it records your temperatures. And when you're ovulating, your temperature spikes. And that's when you know to um, have protected sex or abstain from sex. And then, um, so it'll give you a little red light on the screen. And then for the rest of the month, it takes your temperature and it can detect if you're ovulating or not and it'll give you a green light. And the days it doesn't know, it'll give you a yellow light to kind of let you know like, um, something may be up, so use protected sex. Um, for me, I think this is the, a really good method, um, especially because you may remember when I got my earlobes reconstructed, I wasn't given any antibiotics, and it was because my birth control is so erratic and crazy that you can't even give me medicine right now because my arm will fall off. or. I'll cry for six days like there are really days I'm sorry there are really days where like I can't get out of bed and it's not because I'm tired it's just like I have no drive and there are times when I cry in public and it's out of nowhere I'll see a pigeon and I'll just be like <laughs> stop being a pigeon um, I cry at school a lot, um, um, normally at school, uh, I'll be doing a woman's pedicure and I'll look up at her and she'll be like, 
okay. And I'll just be like, can you excuse me one moment? And I'll go in the back, you know, and then I'll come back out. Just a quick, quick tear to get it out of my system. Um, and it's really hard. It's a really difficult journey. Like, from the first year I started Depo until now, I've completely changed emotionally and physically, and it's so difficult. Like, I... I say that Depo is more along the lines of a short-term birth control method. I think it would be good maybe once or twice, like uh, if you're going studying abroad or something and you need birth control, something a short-term method. Like I said the first time I had my Depo shot, I was like 14 and it's because I was staying in like a co-ed dormitory and I guess they recommended that to people, ew, but um, 14 year olds should practice safe sex, so I'm not discouraging that, please practice safe sex. Um, and I'm lucky enough that I went to a school that um, we had, you know, sex ed and we weren't, we had like a very good sexual education. It started in fifth grade, it started in fourth grade and we had it all the way up until 12th grade, so I think it was very... I was very lucky, the school I went to. Um, you know, part of the requirements of our school was to get the HPV shot for women. Men can get it too, but... Um, so I think I was very exposed to like a very sexually safe education, so... If anyone has any questions for me regarding the depo, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I am saying that um, research is important, and if you have any questions about it, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I have been on it for about three years. It's killing me. But um, yeah, that's my experience on the depo shot. Um, my roller coaster from happy sexual health to can't get out of bed, don't touch me. And I will say this, my sexual drive has completely changed since being on the depo shot too. Like, I never think about sex at all, ever. I don't see boobies on Tumblr or men or whatever and I'm like, okay, no, nope. mm-hmm. Yep. It's never... Ooh. Ever. Not at all. Not to say I was ever like a... You know that cartoon of the werewolf where he's like, Woo! I was never that guy. But... That too. And I was reading about it and they say that that's like one of the number one symptoms of just like low libido, low sexual drive. And it's funny because you're on the birth control to protect yourself and then it doesn't even matter. So anyway, I invite everybody to join me on the path of getting the lady comp and practicing a natural form of birth control. Um, my partner did decide, like, because I was talking about it and crying, and I was like, this is ruining my life. So, he is going to split the cost of me for the lady comp because it is around uh, $500. But um, yeah, I invite everybody to join me on this sexual health excursion. Um, my depot shot will not run out until mid September, so I have all summer to buy my lady comp. But I am going to try to purchase it as soon as possible just so I can start taking my temperature daily and see what it's like and just build that habit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being personal with me. If you've been on my Tumblr, you know this has been an issue with me for a while. My post about why is there no male birth control and things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and I encourage discussion on everything and let me know. If you've ever tried Lady Comp, tell me what it's like. Um, if you've been on Depo or your partner's been on Depo, let me know down below and what their experience has been like. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.